No! Hi, I'm a frog. The OG Modern Warfare 2 is not only my favorite Call of Duty, but one of my favorite shooters, period. It was amazing when it came out and still is today. So I decided to play MW2 for the first time in a while and see if I could beat every Spec Ops mission on Veteran, or in other words, get three stars on every mission. Except for the two that are only available in co-op because I don't have friends. Let's hop in. So first up is the pit, which is just the obstacle course from the start of the campaign. This is easy, but here's the thing, right? I'm playing on PC, but I'm a filthy console kid who can't play keyboard and mouse, and this game doesn't have controller support. So I had to manually map everything, and it still feels really weird. I forgot to map melee. That's a civilian. Okay, third time's a charm. I barely got it, but I'll take it. On to the real ones now. Next up is Sniper Fee, where you hold out from five waves of enemies that get increasingly tougher. This was one of my favorites to play as a kid because it was one of the few I could actually beat on Veteran. Sniping in this game is so fun. Wave two onwards, you get a Predator Drone. That never gets old. Sniper Fee is pretty much just patience because at no point during this mission have I actually been in danger of getting overrun. Two left, time for some overkill. How did that only kill one? All right, that's another easy three stars. Let's move on. Oh, Cristo Redentor. This one's straightforward. I have 50 enemies to kill while not killing civilians. Why are you running in the middle of a crossfire, you morons? Oh no, not the dogs. Make sure to leave a comment about not liking seeing dogs get shot while I'm in the middle of killing 50 people. Down to 20 left. Oh God. No! Uh. Off to a tremendous start here in attempt two. Alright, well, at least it wasn't a dog this time. I am tearing through these guys now. Down to only ten. Oh no, dogs. No! Are you fuck? Well, he shouldn't have been standing there. I am not letting you ruin another run, dogs. Okay, I feel like I made that way harder than it should have been. Next up, we got Evasion, where I just gotta sneak past or stealthily kill some enemies and make it to the end. The stealth missions are my favorite. They're like a puzzle where you have to figure out how to get through. Looks like we got ourselves a Paw Patrol. Good riddance. Check this out. I'm a hyper-lethal vector. I don't know what that means, but it sounds cool. So hopefully I can take out the dog patrol on the left without alerting the other two. Well, No! Let's try this again. It seems like this was meant for two players. I remember you could pick off this guy in the back. There's four guys and a dog up ahead. How am I supposed to do this stealthily myself? Got the dog at least. Take him out. Why are there so many dogs? This has got to be actually impossible to do stealthily solo. I stand corrected. Let's go. That was fun. Another one in the books. Let's go to the last of the alpha missions. All right, for suspension, we just got to make it from one end of the bridge to the other. I think I played this maybe once or twice as a kid. I never liked it. That was cool, I guess. Loaded for bear? But I'm not a bear. Looks like you went hunting for the wrong hairy creature, buddy. Not gonna lie, I expected that to be a lot harder than it actually was. That was the easiest since the pit. On to the Bravo missions. First up in Bravo is Body Count, where you have to kill enough guys to get 30,000 points. You get points just based on how you kill them. This is another one I probably played like once as a kid. Oh my goodness. For the most part, they're just hanging back and letting me shoot them from far away. Almost to the end. Almost done, stay focused. Well, okay, one kill away. Uh, 
I keep getting flashed and not in the good way. Well, that was a disaster. Thank God. I never want to play that again. Bomb Squad is what the name suggests. You have five minutes to defuse three different bombs in the favela. Five minutes feels like plenty of time, though. I don't need to rush. Get back here. Better luck next time, bozo. Little bro, you're facing the wrong way. I swear to God, if anyone kills me while I'm defusing this... All right, we good. Defusing these is literally the scariest part of the mission. I thought there'd be one hiding behind the door. I see you hiding back there while I'm about to defuse the bomb. Nice try, buddy. Another one. Time for the next one. Race. I have 70 seconds to drive from point A to point B in a snowmobile. This feels like a really bad way to shoot. Oh, no, tree. How did that just hit him? I was aiming at the ground. Gonna be close. Make it. Make it. Look at my time. I got it by two tenths of a second. Ain't no way. All right, whatever. That's it for Bravo since I can't do the co-op missions. On to Charlie. All right, so first in the Charlie Ops is hidden where we sneak our way to the end. This mission just takes you through part of All Gillied Up from COD 4. Easy, Collat. When I was younger, I could not spot the Gilly snipers for the life of me. If you see a crawling bush, you know something's up. Oh no. Alright, that's a BS spot to put one of the snipers, whatever. At least they don't one-shot you in this game. Got him. Beautiful. Well, that sucks. There's a sniper in the tower that I guess I should get. Okay, I don't know how I thought that was going to work out. Why is he wearing a ghillie suit in a church tower? Huh, that's a weird place for a bush. He's down. It's like they never knew I was here. They absolutely did. I didn't get sniped and killed at the very end. Let's go. That was a fun one. Time to move on. Breach and clear, I remember being really tough. I think I just had trouble with missions that put you on a timer. I'm not good under pressure. I am not dealing with this flashbang BS again. Don't know how I knifed him through the riot shield, but if it works, it works. Okay, yeah, that one was easy. Moving on. All right, time trial. I beat it. Homeland Security, another wave defense one. I don't remember the best place to set up at. The M14 is the most fun gun to shoot in the game. Can't change my mind. We're changing positions. I want more space, and wouldn't you know it, there's another sentry gun here. Do me a favor and fly in place. Perfect. Check this out. Oof. Why can you not shoot straight? Did it go through the bottom of it? Are you kidding? I missed. I only have one shot left. Got him. Let's go. That was another fun one. On to the last in Charlie. Snatch and grab is the first Spec Ops mission to add juggernauts, every COD player's worst nightmare. But I'm just gonna be safe and take my time. Let's snipe a couple guys real quick, so far so good. Alright, I literally just started, but whatever. I see you this time. He won't go down. Good stuff. I'm gonna be safe here and kill everyone before pushing up. I hear the music! I don't know from where. Behind me. I guess they spawn one behind you if you go too slow. That's funny. All right, all clear. Another one. Are they just going to keep spawning behind me now? That's actually terrifying. Yeah, I'm booking it. I'm not waiting for another juggernaut to spawn and kill me. Easy. That's it for Charlie onto Delta. War driving. This one I remember sucking at. You have to go to three of the houses and download data, except the download is an instant and a bunch of enemies will come to stop it. I'm just going to have the striker shoot at the house while I'm defending it. Oh my god, that was a shot. Download complete, nice. No, not the flashbang, son of a buck. All right, I'm gonna do better this time, never mind. 
Download complete. Another flashbang. Not this time, Russian. That's Stormhouse 2. Oh, God. Oh, no. Alright, we good. What even killed me? We are not messing around in this house again. Welcome to America, filthy commies. Oh! Even the AI camps in this freaking game. Alright, data secured. Let's get the heck out of here. Wreckage. I guess I just have to blow up cars. Why is that in tier 4? That was easy. Whatever. Moving on. Acceptable loss is another stealth mission, and this was also a good one. Easy kill. Heartbeat sensor tells me there's another alone over here. Get out of there, they found you. Okay, I guess there were actually two. Hyper lethal, I tell ya. I'm not even trying to sneak around anymore. I'm just murdering everyone. I'm like a horror movie villain at this point. That was a fun one and a pretty easy three stars. On to the next. This one, Terminal, I legitimately have no memory of, so we'll see how it goes. I died. This one's ridiculous. I don't know where they're gonna be. That's BS, are you kidding? Oh, hey, look, you can see through smoke if you're looking through partially broken glass. Okay, Jesus Christ, that sucked. My God. Estate Takedown was another one of my favorites. You just have to kill everyone guarding the estate. Hello, Mr. Juggernaut. That is not a good camping spot. No, not the flashbang. There's going to be a Juggernaut around the corner. Yep. Ah, uh, yes, the classic ghillie sniper tactic of charging at the enemy. Last guy's another juggernaut. Let's go. That's it for Delta. We are down to Echo, the last three missions. I just remember wet work was the easiest of the last three because there's no juggernauts. Well, see you later. Helicopter. I missed! Got him this time. Well, who needs a rocket launcher anyway? Alright, at the end already. Let's do this. No! I just saw a head, so I shot. I didn't mean to kill the hostage, son of a bitch. Redemption time. Had I failed that a second time, you probably wouldn't be watching this video right now. Okay, now we get into the really hard ones. I had to kill 10 juggernauts with only explosives and my knife. Great start. New strategy, spam C4. Gonna have to chalk that one up as a failure. I can't even hit him, dude. Die. Yo, knife strats? Nope, not knife strats. I have to kill ten and I can't kill one! I don't know why I thought charging was a good idea. New strat, camp behind the box. Got him. That may be the dumbest way anyone has ever killed a juggernaut, but who am I to complain? There's two. Two at once? You can't do that to me, game. 
All right, back to the drawing board. Through the power of the internet, I learned that Thumper headshots are an insta-kill. Okay, whatever. I have the strat now. I just need to actually hit my shots. You know, I am A-OK -okay with y'all coming from the same side. Four more. Three left. Two more. One more. For the win! I missed! Alright, got him. Let's go. Only one more mission left now, let's get it. This time it's 15 juggernauts, except I have actual guns now. I am definitely hanging on to the thumper with what I know now. Oh, hello. And goodbye. Okay, so I made it to the top deck and only saw three juggernauts. My assumption is they're just on a timer and it's not about pushing up. So let's camp. This is really boring, to be honest. What? Oh my god. Okay, that was incredibly easy and anticlimactic. But whatever, I got all the spec op stars besides the co-op stars. And since I didn't get those, I'm sure I'll get a couple comments saying this doesn't count. To which I say, ribbit. Click the video on screen where I beat Halo 4 at Legendary if you like this one. I may do more Call of Duty stuff in the future. Okay, bye.